Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we'll talk about uh, other professions were practiced when I was young. Uh, one of them was the rubble contractor. What do we mean by a rubble contractor? This contractor used to come when somebody would like to uh, uh, demolish his house or her house and there's an agreement between him and uh, the owner of the house so he can come and take all the rubbles and sell it somewhere else. So he used to bring uh, his workers, very professional. They didn't destroy the stones, the bricks, the doors, the windows, the mishrabiyya and the others. Take everything as it was. Because they are taking it to sell it in a different market. They are taking it, sell it in different market. Even the couple of stones on the main roads. What I discovered later on, that in this market, a lot of foreigners come and buy this traditional, historic, antique and take it home to where they came from, whether they are from Europe or from America or from some other countries. So this art of work by the rubble contractor could take the workers a few weeks to finish a building, demolishing a building. This is number one profession. Number two profession, we call it a neighborhood chief or neighborhood head. He was a part of the security system. We can collect information, can disseminate information, can guide people, can inform the police about the, uh, those outlaws in the avenue or in the street. And this profession was started from the time of Mamluk, who ruled Egypt from the 30, from 12, 1250 to 1517. Then it went on and on and on till the 21st century. They still, having modified the profession inside the police station. What his role was, is providing services to the community members, such as birth certificate, marriage certificate, divorce certificates, and other uh, certificates from the police station. The third profession is she is beating the shells or throwing the shells. This was done by always young ladies in a very traditional dress, like looks like gypsy dress with their earrings, big earrings, and uh, put the, the, the rings around their, their nose as well, and they put this tattoo in their uh, chins and in this uh, uh, face. And she used to sit down, especially if you are on the seaside, with the shells, as if she is talking to the shells, and she's telling you the shells is, are speaking to me, and she's throwing them to the sand, and then to give you the story. You throw it once, twice, and three times. Of course, I don't believe in that. Sometimes believed in it, and some used to take it as amusement. The second one, or the fourth profession, was the news announcer. This long time ago, six, seven hundred years ago, from the time of the sultans and the old rulers of Egypt, if the sultan would like to announce something to the public, he used to send this man with a very big stick, like uh, holding a big banner, hanging from such a banner, uh, ringing bells, many of them, to attract the people or the crowd to come and listen to the announcement. And he used to be standing in the center of the avenue or the square or the roundabout to announce the decision of the sultan and with a certain taxation or uh, uh, new law that he is, the Sultan is announcing and so this of course was before the time of the radio, the time of the microphone, the time of the telephone, the time of all, all this means of communication. People tried to find a way of communicating uh, the, the decisions taken by the Sultan to the public. The second profession, it is the garbage collector and the donkey. Most of the people who used to work in this profession at the time <coughs> were not were Christian. 
And I understood later on why, because they use when they when they took the garbage from the houses to, uh, to take it to the garbage plant, where they have all the swines and pigs there to eat uh, from it. And this was actually very efficiently organized by our brothers. Used to come at a certain time of the day to collect everything and go and fill their cart, the big box and, 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 uh, with them. And always Donkey was there. Donkey was so patient animal, I like him and still like him uh, very much. The cost, maybe we used to give them about 25 or 50 pence every month, but they're so efficient. Unfortunately, now governments scrapped this profession and got us the multinational companies, which instead of taking 50 pence a month, took it tens of pounds every month, and very well, very unorganized, very expensive, and not very efficient at all. I wish to go back to the time of the donkey and the swine who actually has just to help us in collecting our garbage. These are some of the professions we used to see when we were young people at that time. It seemed that our community or our, our, our the, the Egyptian at the time have a profession for every profession. Have people for every profession to respond to the needs of the public from the rebel contractor to the neighborhood chief to the woman who's throwing the shells on the, on the sand to the folk, folk dancer. I forgot to mention the folk dancer. Folk dancers come from the gypsy during the time of celebration. Uh, time of celebration, like actually, if there is a birthday of a saint or something like this in, in, uh, in, in the city or in the countryside especially, those gypsy come with their circus, come with their belly dancers, come with all this kind of thing. This is not there anymore. So when we look at all this, there was a profession for every function at that time, and there was a unique ability of the Egyptian at that time to be pioneering in bringing this profession to the public as a matter of amuse amusement or as a service delivery profession. Thank you very much for watching the video. And I hope if you enjoyed it, you can share it with your colleagues.